Arthur Freed, Wikipedia article audio. Arthur Freed was an American lyricist and Hollywood film producer. He won the Academy Award for Best Picture twice, in 1951 for An American in Paris and in 1958 for G.G. Both films were musicals. In addition, he produced and was also a cool lyricist for the now iconic film Singing in the Rain. Freed was born Arthur Grossman, to a Jewish family in Charleston, South Carolina, and began his career as a song plugger and pianist in Chicago. After meeting many Marks, he sang as part of the act of their sons, the Marx Brothers, on the vaudeville circuit, and also wrote material for the brothers. He soon began to write songs, and was eventually hired by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. For years, he wrote lyrics for numerous films, many set to music by Natio Herb Brown. In 1939, after working in the role of associate producer on The Wizard of Oz, he was promoted to being the head of his own unit within MGM, and helped elevate the studio to the leading creator of film musicals. His first solo credit as producer was the film version of Rogers and Hart's smash Broadway musical Babes in Arms, released only a few months after The Wizard of Oz. It starred Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland, and it was so successful that it ushered in a long series of Let's Put on a Show Backyard musicals, all starring Rooney and Garland. Freed brought talent from the Broadway theaters to the MGM sound stages including Vincente Minnelli, Betty Comden, Adolph Green, Roger Eatons, Kate Thompson, Zero Mostel, June Allison, Nancy Walker, Charles Walters, orchestrators Conrad Salinger, Johnny Green, Lenny Hayton, and others. He also helped shape the careers of stars including Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, Red Skelton, Lena Horne, Jane Powell. Esther Williams, Catherine Grayson, Howard Keel, Sid Charisse, Ann Miller, Vera Ellen, and others. He brought Fred Astaire to MGM after Astaire's tenure at RKO and coaxed him out of semi-retirement to star with Garland in Easter Parade. His team of writers, directors, composers and stars produced a steady stream of popular, critically acclaimed musicals until the late 1950s. He allowed his directors and choreographers free reign something unheard of in those days of committee-produced film musicals, and is credited for furthering the boundaries of film musicals by allowing such moments in films as the 15-minute ballet at the end of An American in Paris, after which the film concludes moments later with no further dialogue or singing, and he allowed the musical team of Lerner and Lowy complete control in their writing of G.G. According to Hugh Forden's book The World of Entertainment, however, Freed did have a hand in the stage-to-screen adaptation of at least one of MGM's musicals, the 1951 Technicolor remake of Kern and Hammerstein's stage classic, Showboat. It was Freed who disagreed with the original structure of the show's second act, in which more than 20 years pass between most of the act and the final three scenes of the musical. He felt that it made for a lack of drama in the story, and so, together with screenwriter John Lee Mahan, Freed hit upon the idea of having the gambler Gaylord Ravenel leave his wife Magnolia while both are still young and Magnolia is expecting a baby, and then having Julie, the half-black actress who is forced to leave the boat because of her mixed-race background, be the person who brings Ravenel and Magnolia back together again after a separation of only a few years rather than twenty. And it was Freed who cast Ava Gardner in the role of Julie. Two of his films won the Academy Award for Best Picture. An American in Paris and G.G. On the night that An American in Paris won Best Picture, Freed received an honorary Oscar, and his version of Showboat was also up for two Oscars that year, though it lost both to An American in Paris. It is important to note that the year 1951, in which Freed won the Academy Award for Best Picture for Paris was the first year that the Academy nominated producers by name rather than by studio. He was the only person nominated for an American in Paris thus being the first person in the history of the award to win by name rather than by studio. Singing in the Rain, now his most highly regarded film, won no Oscars. He was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1972. Shirley Temple Black wrote in her 1988 autobiography that when age 12 she was interviewed by Freed with a view to transferring her career to MGM. During the interview he unzipped his trousers and exposed himself to her. Being innocent of Molly anatomy, she responded by giggling, and he threw her out of his office, said the actress's obituary. She also reported this on Larry King Live interview October 25, 1988. 
This is why she left her MGM after only one film and returned to Fox. Freed left MGM in 1970 after failing for almost a decade to bring his dream project, a biographical film of Irving Berlin, say it with music, to the screen. He died three years later surrounded by his family. His wife died in 1978.